In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about Apple. Now, this one, I've had a Target around the 227 area for a long time. And that's what I've been looking for off of this major swing. Okay, if you take that prior high to low, you run the 1272 extension, that gave you the 227 area. Now, after you had this pullback over here, if you extended that upwards, it also gave you an extension. And then there was an extension of this prior high to low swing. And then let's see, where else do we have something? Well, bottom line, we had one, two, three, four extensions of prior swings up at the 227 to 229 area. So one of the things that I say every single day is many moves tend to terminate at extensions of prior swings. And this one had four extensions. That's one of the reasons why I had told my traders to um, ratchet up stops and, you know, maybe maybe book some profits and then ratchet up stops on the balance. And you would have gotten knocked out. But if you take a look at the overall pattern, you know, it's still a bullish pattern. And we are clearly above the 200 simple or above the 50 simple and the 5 and 13 are still in a buy mode. So that's why we're still going to look for possible new buy entries on this pullback. Now there's really only two areas here that I would focus on at the moment. Um, this first area, I'd rather see three price relationships, but I do have a 618 that overlaps the 382 retracement, 217, 62 to 82 as far as possible support. And then the other area comes in 214, 13, 13 to 215.75. So let's say if we get a trade into that lower area, one of the things that you always want to do with this work is you go down to a lower time frame chart and you look and see if it triggers on the buy side. And I've posted the videos and how you're supposed to use it multiple times. If you need a copy of it, you can let me know. But bottom line, um, one of these two areas, I would look for new buy triggers in Apple. Okay. And then ultimately, let's see, next bigger picture targets would probably come in closer to this 239 to 243 area. Again, just because we have targets doesn't mean that we're definitely going to get there, but that's typically what we shoot for as far as um, targets on the trade. 